What's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So with the new recent launch of the GTX 1070, a lot of you guys have been wondering whether to get the new 1070 or to uh, kind of capitalize on the price cuts that have been happening to the GTX 980 Ti, which is a fantastic uh, graphics card that is very capable in all regards. What we're going to do is evaluate the key differences between the 1070 and the 980 Ti, take a look at some uh, real world uh, benchmark results and determine which card is best suited for you. Now we have the MSI Aero version of the GTX 1070, which has a blower fan design. It's very similar to the reference cooler. It's certainly not the most efficient uh, cooling solution, but it's going to uh, pair up nicely with our comparison of the PNY GTX 980 Ti, which also uses a simpler blower fan design that's uh, pretty much identical to the reference GTX 980 Ti cooler. So uh, basically taking a look at the overall specifications over here, you can see that we do have quite a lot more CUDA cores on our 980 Ti of over 20. 800 versus we have a 1920 cores on uh, the uh, 1070 in terms of uh, texture units and render output units the 980 ti definitely has the 1070 beat now in terms of core clock and boost clock frequency we do have higher uh, frequencies on uh, the 1070 compared to the 980 ti but when it comes to the memory standard we have a higher bandwidth of about a oh, 384 bit memory bus versus the 1070 has a 256 bit memory bus although it does have a higher clock speed in terms of the memory frequency and we have a more uh, VRAM of 8 gigabytes of a GDDR5 memory versus we have 6 gigabytes on the uh, 980 Ti. Lastly with the new Pascal architecture the TDP on the GTX 1070 is certainly a lot more efficient rated at about 150 watts versus the 980 Ti is rated at 250 watts. Now in terms of price point obviously there's going to be huge variability in terms of where you are in the world and when you're purchasing uh, these two GPUs. The uh, MSI Aero GTX 1070 that you see over here, I got for just under the $500 mark. And if you take a look at the pricing on uh, some of the GTX uh, 980 Ti's, they're going for a ridiculous deal right now. Uh, there's a great MSI Armored X2 version for uh, just about $425. And if you take a look at some of Amazon's used options, you can probably get a 980 Ti for even less than that, which is pretty darn remarkable. Now, when it comes to the actual gaming performance, we'll first take a look at the synthetic 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark. And you can see at uh, 1080p, uh, both are very, very similar with the slight advantage going to the 980 Ti. But once we start ramping up the resolution, there's a hint of a more performance coming out of the GTX at 1070. That's probably because it has more video memory. But beyond these results, let's actually take a look at some real world gaming benchmarks, both at 1080p and at 4K resolution. So you guys have a good idea in terms of how these uh, two cards stack up against each other. Now, in summary, uh, looking at the performance results, I would generally say that both of these two cards are pretty much 98% identical when it comes to the overall gaming performance. There's not really a huge advantage that one card has over the other. Generally speaking, most of the games that I tested out, the 980 Ti was slightly faster by one or two average FPS, but nothing uh, too significant over here. In my humble opinion, if you were in the market to get one of these two GPUs, 
GPUs, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out a GTX 980 Ti. For the money, I don't think there's really a lot of graphics card that can compete with the raw performance. The uh, 1070 is excellent, uh, great overall power efficiency, but in most scenarios, I think you're going to get a little bit more for your dollar with the older generation uh, GTX 980 Ti. But that's uh, just coming from my perspective. Definitely love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. And uh, other than that, really, guys, that's really it. Give us a thumbs up if this video helped you out in any way. And check out the links in the description for more detailed information about everything we've talked about. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.